Hi everyone, I'm Jess. It's Wednesday. You're watching 7AL. Um, I'm very, very tired today. It's definitely the definition of hump day for me because um, it's midterms week and lots of work and... So this week's topic is about emotional girls and how you deal with them and I would like to say that I don't deal with them. Um, if I want to be with somebody, I try to avoid dramatic stuff. And I, I mean, like, if it's legitimate, then that's different. But people who either create drama out of nothing, like, things that don't need to be dramatic are drama queens, basically, and people who get upset about things that aren't a big deal. Um, both of those are, like, huge red flags for me, and I try and get out of that as fast as I can. Well, not as fast as I can, but I try to get out of that um, because it's not something that I really can deal with and it, not something that I like to deal with. Um, I usually, like, I don't end up dating really emotional girls because I, if you're going to date someone, you probably know them beforehand, and if you know that they're like that, then you shouldn't date them. Um, well, in my opinion. Um, if I am in a situation where I have to deal with an emotional girl, I mean, I do listen. I'm a really good listener, and I am a really good... Like, I'm really good at giving advice. Um, but like I said, if the problems that the person's having are, like, legitimate, real problems, and they happen to involve emotions, then that is what it is. But I'm not going to sit there and take bullshit from someone who gets upset about nothing. Um, that was kind of how my first girlfriend was, and... It was really hard, and I don't really ever want to go through that again. Um, I... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, if you're dealing with an emotional girl, like, I would say listen to her. But only to a point. Like, don't take things that she says negatively about herself or you to heart because... Well, some of them you should take to heart. But, like, if she says, if you do something and she gets upset, um, and this happens a lot, then, like, listening would be a good, like, it's good to listen and to have open communication. But there comes a point where it's too much and you need to know when to say no. Um, <clears throat> okay. The topic is, or the, sorry, the question is, what's your favorite part about the fall slash what are you going to be for Halloween? I don't know what I'm going to be for Halloween. I just don't know. I don't even know if I have plans. Oh, I do have plans, but I might have to end up being an ID checker at a party, which means that I wouldn't be able to have fun. I'd have to check IDs up all night. Um, but if that doesn't happen, I don't know. I was thinking about doing something really annoying and punny. Like maybe I was thinking I could be a ceiling fan and wear a shirt that says like, Go ceilings and like cheer for ceilings. Get it? Like a ceiling fan. Um, or I'll be something like slutty because that's what people do at the school. On any opportunity, any opportunity they can, they take their clothes off, which is not something that I do, but it's something that people do. Um, I'm sorry, I'm kind of babbling today. Let's see. My favorite part about the fall. Is definitely um, like crunchy leaves on the ground. I and like stepping on them is the most gratifying experience in the entire world. <laughs> um, I have to go now. I'm sorry that this is very like, but that's how my brain is. So I'm not that sorry. Um, and I hope you have a good rest of the week. Um, if you have midterms right now, good luck. I wish you all the best, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.